for our Toyota game summary. Some of the cogent numbers, important numbers on the night. Fox with 22 points, five rebounds. Very efficient from the field tonight. And Devin Booker doing Devin Booker things for the Phoenix Suns. Fox goes on the attack and draws the foul. Nice looking right-handed finish. It almost went. Cameron Payne, meet me at the Golden One uh, Dance Studio. We're going to teach you the foxtrot, and this is how we get down. Take your left, bring your right, get in the paint. Look at me fly, baby. Wow, Doug, he covered a lot of ground yeah. on that crossover and that long step. That's efficiency of motion. He is not taking any, any lag in there. He's got his electrical vehicle. <laughs> Face of the franchise, recently signing a five-year max deal. So that he remembered what it was like his first year. And he wants to win something big here in Sacramento for the fans and for the franchise. See who he went to, to guard and lock up on. Aiton up top kicks it out. Rotate me. That jumper's going to be short. Aiton rebounds the air ball. No reset on the shot clock down to two. Yeah. Oh, and Crowder breaking hearts with that jumper. Got to get that rebound, but another, uh, regardless, another great defensive possession with the rotations and effort by the Kings. Three and a half minutes to go. Halliburton, Bagley, Fox, Heald, and Barnes. Payne trying to guard Fox. Got a good screen from Bagley. Bagley couldn't make the tough catch, and they turn it over. Booker on the move for Phoenix. Inside for Aiden, had a mismatch, but Fox... Says, don't call it a mismatch. He knocked it away and wants Luke Walton to review it. He thinks it was off Phoenix. Take a look right here. Great defense by De'Aaron Fox. Oh, oh yes. yes. Yes, it was. That's off Aiden. Yeah. Oh. You're going to see De'Aaron hit it right here and then watch the ball change direction as Aiden reaches out, but they do not take a look at it. 310 to go. Booker with the mid range jumper. Well, the ball doesn't lie sometimes. Sacramento gets possession. Under three minutes to play. Box out front. Barnes pops open off the screen. Back out to Fox. Shot clock down to three. Got a launch. Goes back. Doesn't fall. And the Suns have an opportunity to knot it up. It's 97. In. Luke Walton trusting the rookie. Tyrese oh, Halliburton. look at Buddy Heald with the steal. Those active hands. And Buddy Heald at the defensive end. Get it in, Buddy. Buddy has been questioned about his defensive abilities. He's heard the critics and answers them right there. Did a great job with the steal and gives them a four point margin. Johnson. And Crowder goes glass. Wow. Runner coming up huge. Sacramento's lead back down to two. Fox with 24 points and seven dimes. Working against Chris Paul. Winning time, Mark. Yep, under two minutes to play. Crowder switches on to Fox. Got him in the air. Great pass to Barnes. Holmes with the rebound. Boom! Count it! A homecoming! For Rashawn. Opportunistic are the Kings. Mm. Just winning time. You see Buddy right here. Active hand. You never know. Contest all passes. Get off me, little dude. Deliver at the bucket. Holmes on the interior. Again on the glass. Taking the harm. Oh, mm. yeah. Let it out. I feel you. <laughs> 8.6 rebounds and none bigger than that offensive board a moment ago for Holmes. And he converts the three-point play, a five-point cushion, an advantage for Sacramento. 79% of the line for him last year, Mark. That, that's good for a center. Bridges back to Chris Paul. Got to his spot, pulled the string, and it got a fortuitous roll there. Three-point ball game, Chris Paul now. Seven of 18 from the field. He's got 18 points, 12 assists for Phoenix. Fox calls for the screen from Joseph. Bridges, a long defender on Fox, and now Crowder switches on to him. Five on the shot clock. Fox with the mid-range jumper. 
a little bit strong. And that's going to be a backcourt foul against De'Aaron Fox. Look, the look on CP's face. Is, oh, boy. I got you. He is so cagey and savvy in being able to draw fouls. And he got Fox on that reach. Well, folks, tune in again tomorrow night, 6 p.m., where the Kings take on the Suns in a back-to-back -back series. The game will be broadcasted right here on NBC Sports California and on KHTK Sports, 11.40 a.m. For more information on all Kings games this season, visit kings.com slash schedule. Paul makes the second. And with 105 to go, Kings have possession and a two-point lead. He messed around and came to a ball game. How about Hart? that? Another tight finish for Sacramento. Healed, guarded by Bridges. But he put it on the deck. Missed the layup. Holmes again on the offensive glass. Crashing and earns two at the line. Boy, that added determination and tenacity by Holmes. That, that, that's a big-time foul right there by Crowder because you're going to see Rashawn Holmes come in, and he just made sure that they were not allowing him to get the ball above his shoulders. After converting just four of 11 free throws in the third quarter, the Kings are five for five at the line here in the fourth. And Holmes nails that one for a three-point lead, 49.6 to go. If he makes this one, it becomes a two-possession game for the Suns. Holmes, as you mentioned, the improved foul shooter, 79% last year. It's nothing but cord on the second. And he lets out a pleasurable yell, saying, yeah, I got that one. Sacramento up by four. It's closing time when we come back to Golden One Center. command in control all night long and it's time to try and close this sale looking for a stop here on his two possession game Booker they draw one up for Booker rims out Holmes with a key rebound two hands and a timeout called by Luke Walton so they get the miss from Booker and the clock on their side, the clock in the ally right now. We're going to step aside one more time with this timeout. Be back in 30 seconds. About a moment later, we'll be right back.
Brown in the house, 24 points, seven rebounds, five assists. He's doing it from every angle. And you can see, Mark, you mentioned it. He's not just in sixth gear. He's downshifting. He's playing the game. He's reading the floor. And if you are a Kings fan right now, you are loving what you see from your point guard. Halliburton gets it inbounds to Bielitsa. And into the hands of Fox. This dance. And run it right down. Shot clock at 10. Working against Bridges. Calling for the screen from Bielitsa. They switch it with Aiden. Fox steps through. Left it on the front rim. Out of bounds. And it's going to stay Sacramento basketball. With just 17.3 to go. Saying they want to take a look at this. Monty Williams have all, has already used his challenge, though, and nope, looks like it'll be Kings basketball. Well, there's Bridges that couldn't get the handle on him. Okay. Halliburton to inbound for Sacramento. And Heald fights loose. And he's fouled by Booker. Let me just let me point something out. Uh, Luke Walton is trusting Halliburton to inbound the ball as a rookie. And not only did he look everything off, he passed Buddy Heald open. That is, that is special stuff. When you say passed him open, in layman's terms to our viewers out there, that means, that means to pass to a spot that only Buddy's going to be able to get the basketball. And then... Well, but he let me down. He didn't make the free throw. But the point is, he put him at the free throw line. And that is just, it's stuff that you, you learn normally in a couple of years, but the kid has it now. Well, and once again, Luke Walson showing great trust in Halliburton in closing time. And on the floor for most of the last five minutes of the clock. As Heald knocks down the second one. It's a two-possession game. Phoenix calls timeout with 15.5 to go. As the Sacramento Kings try and snap their seven-game home opening night losing streak. It's been a while since they won a game on opening night. Well, let's go. Yeah, let's have it. No better time than the present, Mr. Jones. 15.5, and we can close the lights out tonight. When you think about the way that they played tonight, too, Doug, the, the thing that impresses me, you know, you listen to people around the league, and one of the guys I used to work with, Doug Collins, always used to tell me, this is a first-quarter league, and the Sacramento Kings came out in the first quarter and jumped all over the Suns 15-2. to two. Yeah, and what's so impressive about that, you and I talked about, is in the third quarter, we saw them last year, the Kings might fall asleep. Tonight, they come out, let the Suns back in it, but they did not go away. They kept battling, kept fighting, get to the free throw line, steals, opportunistic. The Kings are doing some good things early on the season. All right, let's see if uh, they can get a stop here. One final one, perhaps, with 15.5 seconds to go. Barnes... Fox, Joseph, Heald, and Holmes on the court for Sacramento. Crowder inbounding. Boy, he's running all of the clock. Got it in just before the five-second count. Aiton lost the handle out of bounds. Who's it off? It'll stay Suns basketball with 10.9 to go. The shot clock is off, of course. Chris Paul to inbound for Phoenix. Devin Booker thinks that uh, De'Aaron Fox is his shadow right about now because he's been all over. Fox doing it at both ends of the court. Paul goes out to Booker. Got healed off his feet on the ball fake. Off the mark. Healed with the rebound. And folks, this one is cooked, glazed, and about to be sliced. Sacramento, 4.7 seconds away from putting this one to bed. Can I get a plate? That's what I'm looking for, Mark. Can I get a plate? Hey, we got a few Christmas leftovers in the cooler, in the refrigerator at home. These are, first of all, just to be in these games and build the confidence that it takes and put yourself in to get these type of reps are great, but to overcome and be able to finish games like these off are huge for the confidence of this young team. Doug, you have to love the fact that they cut down on their turnovers precipitously in the second half. They uh, only finished with 18 of them. More than half of those coming 
in the first half. Chris Paul's shot will count. Third time he's let one fly at the end of the period. But not impactful as Luke Walton's Sacramento Kings 